All right, guys, we got another hired request today. This is Elton John, and it's called the Carla Etude. It's off his 1981 album, The Fox. And it's just an instrumental thing. Uh, so again, it's called the Carla Etude. You can find it on YouTube. Listen to it. Um, but we do uh, work on iPad now. iPad, iPhone, Android, um, operating systems, any mobile device. The website will work on there. So all of you who are learning uh, from these videos on your iPad, I think that's just really cool. But let's get started here. Let's do the intro. Sean Cheek, welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Uh, <clears throat> I have lots of lessons like this on my website, which is webpianoteacher.com. For the last five years, I've just done tons of videos. Uh, there's about 2,000 on there now. Using the whiteboard method to teach by ear. Uh, the rest of the lessons for this song, as well as many others, are on my website. Um, if you'd like to learn how to read music, uh, instead of doing the whiteboard, or just want to, as a supplement, you want to learn how to read music better, uh, I have uh, my other website, SeanCheek.com, will teach you how to read music better and faster so that you can, you know, pick up sheet music somewhere and, and play it uh, without too much trouble anymore. So if you need help reading music, that's where you go to. SeanCheekBlog.com is my blog. There's also links on there to order custom DVDs. If you'd rather just have a D DVD set of the, only the videos you want, also, I have my sight reading boot camp videos on there where uh, you can sight read by using the DVDs and download material with music. You can PDFs and all of that are on there. Uh, Facebook is the best way to check out what I'm doing. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com or mm -hmm. Sean Cheek. All right, now for the advertising. have to do that, though. It's the way I make a living, so <laughs> have a little bit, little bit of that in there. Here's the intro, let's get started. We're in the key of B, unfortunately, you know, five sharps. And uh, F, C, G, D, A are sharps. And uh, uh, it's pretty neat. It's an old video, you can tell it's an old just uh, video or MTV video, music video that I'm looking off of YouTube to do this by. And, you know, it just brings back memories. That used to be what we watched when we were kids, is MTV. It was just all day music videos. It's not that way anymore, but um, just looking at that video just really reminded me of the past. 1981. Anyway, uh, F sharp, B and D sharp in the right hand we'll have. Here's middle C, so we're down on F sharp, up to B, up to D sharp. Okay, and then we're going to go up to E. Back down to D sharp, and then down to B, then up to F sharp. Hold that for a bit, and then go back down to B. No big deal. And the left hand, I have just a B written, but we'll do an octave. Okay, I just save space on the board just to put one letter instead of two. There's but two Bs. B on the thumb, B on the pinky, and the rhythm here is. You can just hold the pedal down throughout that. It gives it a real. sharp a bit. Ba, ba. Then we're going to do this. So same rhythm here. Uh, on the right hand we're going pretty low to D sharp and F sharp. Then up to C sharp, middle C sharp. Then down to B. I know it kind of goes up there but it's, it's down to B. And then up to D sharp. Hold that for a bit and then back down to B. Left hand's got a G sharp octave now. Okay, so G sharp. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you hold that D sharp a bit and then come in with that B. So let's tie these two measures together and go. Okay, now this measure is just going to be. 
quarter notes. So right hand is down on E, G sharp, B. We're going to go up to G sharp, B, E. We're going to go up again to B, E, G sharp. So it's just an E major chord in inversions. One, two, three. Left hand's on an E octave. So one, two, three. Tie it all together, beginning, and go. straight quarter notes. So we go to a B major chord, B, D sharp, F sharp, and down to D sharp, down to B. Left hand's on a B octave, so it's just one, two, three. Alright? So let's tie this together from the beginning and go. A sharp and D sharp, so all black keys, and then all black keys again as we move just the top note down to C sharp, but we keep the F sharp and A sharp on the bottom. And it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. Left hand is on F sharp octave, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's do the whole bottom line. Ready, go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ready, go. more time. You know, it's more rubato. Three, four. You can play another F sharp there on the left hand. Play that chord. So, but he takes some time, some liberty with the... Alright, I'm just kind of going through it for the sake of learning the notes. But, you know, you want to play, play it expressively. Take your time. Now, this top line... Okay, but the right here we're going to have D sharp, D sharp. So this is actually part of that previous measure, but because the downbeat is here on the second D sharp. But anyway, D sharp, D sharp, up to E, back down to D sharp, down to B, up to F sharp, back down to B. Okay, so. something like this kind of goes back and forth between a B octave and an F sharp. I'll put it in parentheses because you can't really hear, oh I hear it a little bit but it, you know it's too faint to really hear exactly what's going on there but I know the left hand's doing this pattern. So I play B to F sharp and then maybe just do the thumb to the F sharp throughout there a little bit uh, on the bottom. Okay so we go So just uh, uh, but lightly, don't hammer, don't plod through there. Then it really will mess it mess up the feeling. Okay, so right here. All right, and then we're gonna go now on the G sharp. We have an octave. You can kind of keep that going with you know back and forth between the two. Uh, the pinky and the thumb, bum, but not too much, you know, just, just a little hint in there, you know, it's like we're painting, just a little hint of color here, just a little something, a little something, the balance needs to be right. Okay, um, <coughs> so here we did B, F sharp, B, now we go down to D sharp and F sharp like we did here, and then C sharp, and then B, down to F sharp, back up to B, hold that for a bit, and then play one final B there while the left hand just continues with that G sharp on the bottom. Okay, so let's go back up here. Ready, go. Now I put a G sharp here again because I did hear him play a 
definite G sharp left hand in the middle there. So we do going to go G sharp. Okay, so I put a definite one right there in between right there. All right, let's do it one more time all the way to this point. Ready, go. so much on the left hand. I'm not I'm just doing a little bit, just a little kind of a roll underneath. Alright? And I'm emphasizing that because I I've taught private lessons for 20 years before I started uh, doing the video thing and I just know what people do <laughs> when they when they're gonna play. So uh, most people, you know, when students when you're starting this would play the left hand too much. So just warning you of that. Alright, so when we get here E, G sharp, E, and then move it up to G sharp, B, E, just like we did here. But then the next part is just E, G sharp. Ba, ba, eighth notes there. One, two, three, and. And then one, two, three, which is going to be B, D sharp, F sharp. And then the D sharp by itself, down to B by itself. Left hand's on an E octave, and then up to a B octave here. So starting right here, it's one. left hand there throughout. I call it vamping. You just... Alright, so let's start right here. Ready, go. Alright, so there's both lines. There's your free part one. We do finish it on the website. So see you on uh, webpianoteacher.com. Hope you enjoy it.